You can of course create pages document with set of photos and then export it as GIF, but it will take you a lot of time. Or you can stick with me for a few minutes and I will show you how to do it with one single click. Let's say you have a set of photos and you want to create a slideshow from it or animated GIF in order to send it to somebody or maybe post it on social media. It's very easy to do it using the Shortcuts app. So let's open it now. Click on the plus button to create a new one. If you have watched some of my previous videos, you are already familiar with this app. And if not, somewhere here will pop up a card with the whole playlist of videos related to this Shortcuts app. So you can have a look at it after. Now let's quickly go back to the Shortcuts and name this one. Maybe call it make a GIF, change color and give it any icon. I think this icon fits well. We are ready to make the shortcut now. First, we need to get a photos from somewhere. I can look for select photos and add it to the script. Now show more, include all and select multiple. Now type GIF and double click the make GIF command. If I try it now, it will open the photos app and let me select some pictures which I can include in the GIF. But if you are not using this photos app or you really just have a dedicated set of pictures you want to include in the GIF, we have to change it. In this case, just remove the whole first step and here right click it and select shortcut input. And as the input, I will use click action menu. Now I also need some output, so I can see what I am creating. Very useful is to put quick look here. This allows me to see how the final product will look like before I will actually save it. And one more thing. Open more info about the GIF here and you can set the duration of every photo. If you are really creating a GIF then 0.2 second is good. But if you want it to look more like a slideshow you should change this to maybe 1 second per picture. And afterwards you can also export it as mp4 format, not a simple GIF. Because some websites doesn't accept GIF. I will show you how to do that in the moment. But now let's test this one. I will go to finder, select some photos and right click it. Go to quick action and here is our GIF shortcut. Now it will create it and open it in quick loop. By the way, you should now do what the GIF says if you want to learn more about your Mac. If you are happy with the look of your GIF, you can add the save command and it will allow you to save it as a GIF file. Now it's all done. But as I mentioned before, some websites doesn't allow you to upload GIFs. Or maybe you just want to post this slideshow on YouTube or Instagram. In this case, it makes sense to have it in video format. And it's actually pretty easy to do that. All we need to do is to search for make video. And here is make video from GIF command. Let's insert it right here before the save command. And it should automatically change to save video. But if not, then right click it, select variable and choose video. This way, you can be actually easily switching between video or GIF format anytime you want. Now I can actually prolong the duration and create a video slideshow from my photos. It doesn't need to be as fast as the GIF we did before. Very handy is also put here clipboard. If you don't want to be using the quick action menu all the time, you can change it to clipboard here. Also pin it in the menu bar and I can now fully close the app and test it once more. I will go to my photos, select what I want, press command C to copy it into the clipboard and now I can simply run the shortcut from the menu bar and with one click I have made a video slideshow from my photos.
As I said before, I can go back to the Shotcuts app and switch between the GIF or video format anytime I want. Or I can just duplicate the whole Shotcut script and have two different outputs. One can be GIFs and the other Shotcut can be exporting it in videos. It's all up to you. Anyway, I hope you are enjoying these videos because I'm really enjoying finding these Shotcuts, learning that and then share it with you. If you have some different ideas, tips how to improve the channel or videos you would like to see, you can share it with me in the comments below. And I'll see you next Monday. Thanks for watching.